All right, so after learning how to draw your pictures, you're now going to learn how to do it with a quick picture at the bottom, but also another way of doing it instead of just counting your base 10 blocks. So it says use the quick picture at the bottom of the page to help you divide. You see it down here? And then as we're doing that, we're going to record each step one at a time. Okay, so this whole entire page is going to work on one problem. And that problem is, read it with me, find 76 divided by 3. All right, so step one said to model 76 as 7 tens and 6 ones. Do you see that down here? So as you can see, they went ahead and put 5 together and then 2 together. Do you understand why they did that? Again, trying to spread it out so you can count them easily. And then they put six ones. What they put in this first column? What's in this first column? Five. Five. And then there's one over here. So you see how they're counting by fives to kind of show you and keep an easy count of what they're doing? Okay. Then it also tells you to draw the three circles to represent the equal groups. So here are your three groups. Everybody following the picture so far? So then they wrote the problem out with your division box, 76 divided by 3. All right, so once I get that drawn, step number two, read with me. Share the seven tens equally among the three groups. Cross out the tens you use. So I'm going to use how many of these so far? And you can just make a line. See how they just do a line instead of drawing a big, long rectangle? Yeah. You can do that as long as I can tell the difference between them. So we're going to take how many out of here so far? How many groups do I have over here? Three. So you're going to take one, one, and one. Do I have enough of the tens to do that again? No. Yes. Yes, yes I do. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to put another one. So I have used... Six of them. Do you see what I'm doing? Cross them out. That way I know I've used it. So, how many tens did I use in each group? Two. So you're going to write two up here. Now as you look at the problem over here to the side, you're going to see how many times does three go into seven. You had a total of seven tens, correct? And you have three groups. So if you know anything about multiplication, you would know that three times two gives you what? Six. So this is where your numbers go. You ready to watch? Because you're all going to have to do this later without a picture. So you know that three times two, which is going to go here. Everybody watching? So three times two gives you six, which I'm going to put down here because I'm going to take it away, which is exactly what I did in the picture when I crossed them out. How many ones do I have left? Or excuse me, tens do I have left? One of them. See how it's here? So the one goes here. Okay, let's review that real quick. So you know that three times two is going to get you close to seven. It's not going to get you to seven but it gets you to six, correct? Yeah. So look where the problem is. Three times two is six. Does everybody see my multiplication and where it's going? Yeah. So my quotient is down here. Then I'm going to subtract. So we use how many tens for the picture? Six. Six of the tens were used, and there are how many tens left over? One. The one. You see how all of my numbers here are coming from what I just did in the problem? Okay. So now, if I look at step three, I know that one ten cannot be shared among the three groups without regrouping it. Okay? So what am I going to have to do with that ten? I'm going to have to make it into ten ones. So I'm going to, and they're using circles, and that's okay. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Did you notice I crossed out that one ten? So I know that I have changed it and regrouped it to your ten ones. You need to be drawing out your ten ones over to the side so I know I have them there. We're going to add that to the picture. Okay, yeah, so you regrouped one ten by drawing the ten ones, so now we have how many ones to share? 
the 10 we just regrouped and what was left over here. So I get a total of 16. I want you to see what they do with the problem over here. After you got your 1 that was left over from your 10, you're going to bring down the 6 here. Okay? Because you still have a 6 ones left. So you bring that down here. Everybody see what's happening in our problem over here? Because here in a little while, this is what you're going to be doing without a picture. So I want to show it to you with the picture, and then I'm going to show it to you without the picture. Everybody okay with that? Okay. So right now you're looking at 16 ones. So now what do you think we're going to do? We're going to share those ones equally among the three groups. And it says to cross out the ones that you have used. Now again, this would be easier on you if you would think about the math side of this. If I have 16 ones and I have three groups, can I get exactly the right amount? No. Knowing my multiplication facts, I'm going to get close, but I'm not going to get exactly, right? Yes. So what number times 3 gives me close to 16? Elena? 3 times 5. Okay, so that means I'm going to put 5 of my ones in every one of the circles, right? Yes. So let's do that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now I need to cross those off. So I use this 5 for one of them, this 5 for another one, and this 5 for it. So what do I still have left? One. I still have one. Okay? So I put how many ones in each group? Five. Five. Okay. How many of them were used then if I put five in each group? 15. A total of 15. And there's how many left over? One. Now, let's figure out how I'm going to put it in this problem. Now, guys, as you're looking at your problem, you're going to say three, and it's exactly what you just thought of, and Elena told us the answer was three into 16. She knows that three times five, so does anybody know where I'm putting the five? On top. On top. Good. So I'm going to put the five here. And then where do I put the answer to 3 times 5? Below the 16, just like I did up here with this one. So then 16 minus 15 is 1. You see where all of these numbers in step 4 are working out in the problem here. Okay. So I have 1 left over. Now, I'm going to go ahead and draw my 1 left over over here with my picture. That was just where I had my base 10 blocks, so I want to make sure I put my one that's left over over here. So draw me another one over here, please. I asked you to do something. Okay, so that means that there are three groups of what? Look at what's in each one of the groups. Good, 25. And how many did I have left over? One. One. Now, you may not always have something left over. Yesterday, did we have any leftovers? No, but today we may. So that means for 76 divided by 3, the quotient would be 25, and the remainder would be 1. How do I write that? 25 with an R and 1 for remainder 1. Yes? Any questions? Okay, so some of the problems you're going to do on the next couple pages, you will have to draw a picture and then show me what you did, just like we have on this page. Some of them, you can choose to do just what I've circled here. Only do the division and subtraction to get what you need. Now, does everybody notice where my answer ended up? On top. Okay, so when we use the division box, your answer will be ending up on the top of it. Okay, go ahead and flip your page. Let's try some more. Now... Instead of using the base 10 blocks this time and drawing out the picture, I'm going to show you how to do number one without those, just with the division, okay? Yes? All right, since I don't have a lot of space over there, I'm going to do number one over here. So I'm going to draw the 48 divided by the 3, okay? If you want to draw it right in here, you can. You can write smaller than I can, okay? Go ahead and do it so you can follow along and, to, and write the problem out with me. So use this little space over here to the right. Okay? So, the first thing I'm going to look at, are you ready to watch? Yes. How many times does 3 go into 4? What number times 3 gets me close to 4? Fred? I want 3 into 4. 1. You see what we're doing? So, 3 goes into 4, and I'm going to put my 1 up top. 
pretty messy. So my one goes up top. So three times one is what, Fred? So you're going to put the three down here. Once I get it down here, I'm going to subtract it out. So what's four minus three, class? One. Now what do I still have left? The eight one. So I have to bring that down. Does everybody see how this is working? Follow along with it, because this is going to be easier, I think, than drawing out a picture of based in blocks. Okay? Now, am I finished? No. I'm going to take 3 into 18. So I'm thinking to myself, what number times 3 gets me close to 18? And then 6 times 3 would be what? 18. So did you see where I put the 6? Up top. So 3 times 6 is 18. I'm going to subtract it out, and what do I end up with? So do I have a remainder in this problem? No. So my answer that I'm going to put on the line is what? 16. Okay. Right. The answer will always be your number on top of your division box. So what you guys were working on yesterday, you were doing things off to the side and then writing your answer over on the line. Right now when you're doing the division, it will always end up with your answer on the top. So know where it's going to be. Okay. All right, with your groups, I want you to work on number two, and we're going to see how many of you can do it like this and get the same answer as everyone else. All right, who would like to explain to me what you did for number two? And I will write it down over here. Cheyenne, show me what you did, or just kind of explain what you did. Okay, so we had 84 divided by 4. All right. And then 4 goes So 4 times 2 is 8, so I put it down here. Okay. Good. So 1 goes here. Okay. 4 times 1 is 4, and I subtract to get 0. So do I have any remainder? So my answer is what, class? 21. You kind of catching on here? Yes. All right, let's do one more of these, and then I'm going to show you how to draw the quick picture to go along with it. So let's do three. All right, after working out number three, who is going to tell me what I'm going to be doing for three? How am I going to work this out? Bring it. Talk it out, please. 72 divided by 5. What did you do first? So the 1 is going up here. Okay. Two from this, and then I bring down my 2 from here to get the total of 22. Okay, what was your next step? Then I couldn't do 5 times 5, so I go over 22, so I did 5 times 4, and I got me 20. Alright, so your 4 goes up on top, so 5 times the 4 gets you 20, which goes below. And then what'd you do? Okay, now when I have a remainder of 2 and I have a divisor of 5, what does that tell me? I'm going to have a remainder because my number that is here is less than what I can divide again. Okay, so on the line should be what, Brayden? 14 remainder 2. 14 remainder 2. So notice how the first two did not have a remainder, but the third one does. So that is going to happen at times. Okay, let's look down at number 4. This time you have to divide and draw quick pictures and record the steps. So that is where these pictures that we drew this morning are coming in. You're going to draw a quick picture of 59 divided by 2. So what's the first thing I have to do with 59? Ian? Okay, so how many tens? Five. And how many ones? See what I'm doing? I'm showing my tens as a long line, and then I'm showing my ones as a little dot. How many groups am I going to draw? Two. two. So I'm going to draw two circles. Everybody with me? Okay, so as I'm doing the base ten blocks here, I'm also going to work out the division over here on the side with it. Okay? So, if I have two groups, how many times can I put two in there? Two. 